Yo, where are all my lemmings be at? Oh, here. They all they all be at here. This is where they all be at. How you doing, guys? Welcome back to some lemmings. What do we got going here? We have... Oh, it's this pea soup level again, except now it's these stepping stones. We need to rescue... We can let ten of them die, so we can just block this one. Fine. So thinking maybe three, three, and three builders to get across. Ten total. And I got five diggers. I'm only going to need two. This should be just fine. No problem. We might be getting a little... Well, first of all, uh, my audio quality might not be great today, because usually when I do recordings, I, uh... I turn my ceiling fan down, but today it's just, I don't know what it is. It is ridiculously hot today, and I just cannot stand it. So I gotta keep the ceiling on full blast or lose my sanity. Is that build gonna work? Is he just gonna drop down here, or do we have to dig a little bit? He might be okay. Let's, let's watch this. One frame at a... Yeah, we're good. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm hopefully Audacity's noise reduction usually catches my ceiling fan, but it is a little louder today than usual. And because it's a little louder than usual, I feel pressure to talk louder than usual, which means I am enunciating more to a point that I personally find very distasteful and uncomfortable. So I apologize if any of that is bothering you. But also, I might end up getting a little real talky in this video because I made a comment in one of my previous Lemmings videos that I should not have made, and I kind of need to clear the record a little bit. Nothing like bad, like I'm not gonna get me too or anything, but really, I don't need to dig on these. He's just gonna. Oh, probably that's the trick right there. It's if you can't frame advance, it's tricky to catch him on the correct frame. Is probably the problem here. No, three, three, and three. Once we start building his last stair, we'll blow this guy up pop that release rate. Uh, I made a comment in a previous Lemmings video about how the analytics for my Lemmings videos is not great. It does not have the viewership some of my other videos do. And that's true. The analytics don't lie. But some people, I think, because I got a couple of comments on this and people talked to me about it on on a, the disc. Oh, I don't have a bomber. That's fine. That's fine, though. We can just build up over this guy, right? Like that. Should be fine. Uh, I did have some people comment like they were... Well, most people just commented to tell me how much they're enjoying the series. And I do hear you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate that. I mean, first of all, there's very few of you. <laughs> I'm not lying when I said this is not a particularly popular series. But I do appreciate that there are people who really do like Lemmings. And that's why I'm playing Lemmings. That's one of the reasons, anyway. Uh... And there is no danger of there being less lemmings on the channel. My god, we're not even... I mean, we're most of the way through regular lemmings, but we have so much more lemmings to do. We can nuke everybody now. Sorry, man. We could have saved you with these miners, but I didn't feel like it. Or maybe a digger. In any case, we got out of there. And then there were four. Um, okay, so we've got... Four routes. I think we'll walk all the way up this and over. Look for traps. No traps on this level. Okay. What are we doing here, then? Clearly we're going to be doing four levels at a time. Is this a drop height here? That's, that's a death drop. Uh, we could mine through, like, here, though, and get down and be okay. And then build over here. These guys are going to have to build over to here and then bash through, it looks like. And then have a stair going up that way. We can have a climber facilitate that route. Uh, these guys here, we're going to have to... It looks like... I wonder if he'll build all the way up to the wall here. Again, we can have a climber facilitate that. These guys here... Ooh, we're gonna have to seal up from this direction. I don't know the way to... I can set a blocker here, and when this route is completed, just blow up the blocker. I think is what we're gonna have to do. 
Alright, so you're a climber, you're a climber. So you're gonna be a builder. And you're gonna be a builder. This guy here is gonna be a miner, and these guys we need to block. Okay. Uh, like I said, you're not in any danger of there being less Lemmings content. Don't worry about that. But I do feel like I misled people when I... When I was complaining about my analytics, I wasn't really complaining. I was being... It was self-deprecating humor. And I realized it doesn't always come across. Uh, we're going to build you guys out when we're done. Yes, you keep going and you keep going. Actually, I think I've got this in the bag. I think we're going to be fine. As long as I listen for the clacks. Oh, no, 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 no. Back. So I rewound too far, and my builders <laughs> did a thing. So you keep building, you keep building, and so next you're gonna mine, and I want you to mine here. Uh, is this good? I feel like this guy, by the time he gets all the way over here, we should be fine. Because worst case scenario, he's gonna walk down this hole, bounce off this wall and fall down here and get trapped with these fools, which would be okay. That would be perfectly fine if that happened. So it's really just a matter of these builders now. We'll pause. He's not gonna... Oh, he can walk off now. He's fine to walk off. He needs to keep going. That's a miner! I don't want him to be a miner. <laughs> Dang it. I didn't have builders selected. Oh. Let me tell you guys a truth about my Let's Play style, about my gameplay style. Some people who do what I do are capable of... Are you going to bash all the way through this? You are. That's exactly what I want. Are capable of... Playing a game that they're not excited for. In fact, here's some homework for you guys. Here's something that, if you don't think this is true, if you think that my job is easy and anybody could do it, and I need to just stop complaining, and it's... I want you to go on Twitch.tv, find a channel that is very close to making partner. When is this a... Once he's done with this bridge, that drop is survivable. Good. Excuse you. Well, okay, we can pop... We can't pop that guy now. Sorry. Uh, these guys coming through. Oh, I need to pay attention to this, don't I? He's fine for now. We don't... Yeah, he's... We're fine to place this build now. Uh, I want... I want to seal this. So we're going to need some attention over here. Once this is sealed, that's safe. And it looks like I bought myself a little bit of time. That's sealed. Okay, that's sealed now. Good, good, good. Uh, what do we have to do next? What we have to do next is... The room space already pops. Pull this up. Uh, you guys are safe. You guys are safe. We need a builder to come across here now. Okay, good. Uh, we can build these guys up and out. Oh, I blew him up prematurely, didn't I? Shoot. I sure did. Uh, we, yeah, we can build them up and out. In fact, I have to in order to complete their bridge. Alright, I was giving you guys a homework assignment. I want you guys to go on Twitch.tv. I want you to find a channel that's, like, just about to make partner. That's, like, really close. Like, they've already applied for partner. They've gotten their first rejection email from Twitch. What that rejection email usually says is something like, okay, we're going to give you the partner, but you need to work just a little bit harder for this last stretch to get your numbers where we want them. And you're, you're dead, aren't you? You're, you know, I'm just going to let you do your thing. Whatever you need to do, we're sealed up here. The way to make Twitch partner is you essentially have to get your numbers to a place that is 
almost impossible to get to while also enjoying playing a game. And I've seen this happen, I watched this happen a couple years ago when I was watching a lot of Binding of Isaac streams. I had a couple of Binding of Isaac streamers, they were just about, like, just on the cusp of making partner. And he's dead. Where did he drown? Oh, he drowned down here. Fine, I don't care about him. He should have listened to me. Uh, so for like a, a solid month, in order to get those numbers to where you need them, unless you get them just through sheer luck, it's a matter of... What, what, what has happened here? Why, why did... When did this start happening? Oh, I see. I see what I've done here. I see what I've done here, and it's not smart. Um, can we fix this? <sighs> I didn't foresee this eventuality. We can fix this, but it's gonna be stupid. <laughs> oh, man. Can we fix this? Is this a fixable... I could put another blocker down here. The problem is I set a second builder here in order to delay him to save that one guy, and he ended up making a perfect seal out of buildables. So now we're just going to have to kill somebody else. Okay, so we need some attention over here. Uh, you seal up against that is fine. These guys are going to need the most attention. We still got this, but it's going to be kind of dumb. Okay, so nobody's going to walk into the water there. We do need... I don't have any more bashers. done. I think we're still okay. <laughs> okay, we did. We got up and out of there. Uh, these guys are almost done. We've got 12 more builders. Plenty of builders. 92 lemmings still in the level. <laughs> we have plenty of, plenty of opportunity to fix this problem that we've created for ourselves. I find it impossible to stream or record a game that I don't enjoy playing. Like, for me, playing, a, like, enjoying a game, or at least not being, like, erect... Why, though? You guys. Oh, you all suck. <sighs> okay. We're going to have to do... This. That seals. Everybody else is safe. Ugh. Like, I'm not enjoying Lemmings right now. I'm going to be honest. It's getting a little harrowing at the moment. Um, the hardest part of my job... And I say my job specifically because I know that some... Some streamers and some Let's Players don't have this issue, or don't seem to have this issue. It's possible that everybody has the same kind of anxieties as I do about it, and they're just better at covering it up or ignoring it. But when I'm playing a game that I don't enjoy, it's very, very obvious. And there's this sense of dread when you sit down, uh, especially for me streaming a game that I know that I'm not going to like. Like, there's this dread that sets in that I know everybody's felt. Like, everybody's had this day, like, oh man, going to war today is gonna be impossible. It's another 20 builder level. Uh, okay, so we're gonna build over this for sure. We're gonna bomb through this and then bomb through this. So he's gonna... I'm gonna have the first guy bounce off, the second guy climb up and bomb. 
Because the level name implies timing. We don't need to time because there's no actual timing element in Bombers and Neo Lemmix. So this first guy is going to bounce off the wall and build over the gap. The second guy is going to be a climber. And the third guy is also going to be a climber. So we don't have to time this at all. <laughs> what I do? <laughs> I was paying so much attention to my bomber guys that. Alright, so you just go ahead and bomb. You're gonna have to get assigned next. So that's fine. And as long as this seals before my man gets to the wall, which it will, we're good shape. Okay, so... Now, I think we can get through this with one bomber. Where do I want to build from? Like, back here, maybe? I'm going to try from right here, going right. Should do the trick. That looks like it might be okay. And you, sir, I need you to blow up. Thank you. This way, when the bridge gets so tall, people won't walk off it and get killed. Uh, there is a perception that my job is super easy, that everybody... In fact, I've seen this a lot. Me and Peanut, especially on the holidays, we'll go out to, like, friends' parties, and I have to meet people that I don't know. And the first question that everybody asks for some reason is, Whoa, what do you do for a living? I thought, oh, you know, I play video games for a living. And there's, uh, there's two responses to that, and both of them are kind of bad from my perspective. Like, the first response is something like, Oh, I wasn't aware that there were people who would pay you to play video games. Like, they're almost making fun of you guys. Like, who in their right mind would just pay to... Because everybody's seen that episode of South Park with PewDiePie. And, it's like, who would pay to watch somebody... Well, somebody does. Like, who cares? Oh, are we going to get up this wall, though? I'm too far forward, aren't I? We're not going to get up this wall here. It's not going to happen. Uh, but the second thing is, like, like oh, now you get a real job. Like, I've got a real job. My real job is playing video games on the internet for people and video editing and making content and being entertaining for people. And it's it's hard work. And, yeah, we've got to start from a little further back. So maybe from back here. So we've got to rewind that all the way. Do, 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 do. Rewind that all the way. So yeah, coming from back here should do the trick. Same thing, though. We're going to blow a hole in the bridge. Because now we should be coming up to about, like, midway up through here. Actually, no, we'd have to clip that perfectly. You know what? I think we bombed in the wrong spot then. Let's bomb a little higher up. up there. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to bomb from a little higher up. You, same thing. There. We'll get up over that lip, no problem. And we want to start building from back, like, here. Okay. Uh, I don't like either of these responses, because I don't like being put on the defensive about my work. It is, it is work. People don't realize that a lot of the time, but it really is. And that sense of dread that you get sometimes, like, knowing that you're going to hate your day at work, like, I get that too, especially when I'm streaming very heavily and, like, it's very hard for me to make good content if I'm in a bad mood or if I know that I'm playing a game that I don't like. It can be very difficult. Please blow up. Oh, see you later. And so what, one of my personal philosophy is I don't play games for my YouTube channel out of obligation. Like, if I ever play a game that I'm just chasing views, like whatever the new Call of Duty is... Or back in 2010, 2011, the big game was Minecraft. And I love Minecraft. Minecraft is my game of the decade, easily. But 
I never had a good sense of it being a good fit for my channel, so I never made any Minecraft content. And I stand by that decision because I didn't have a good idea for what I was going to do for Minecraft for the channel, and I don't want to play something that I don't have a good idea what I'm going to do. I'm still not going to make it. we got to go back from even further back. I like this hole. This hole is a lot better, but... We need to come from even further back. We need to be, like, way back here. Oh, I pushed the wrong button. Whoops, and fast-forwarded a whole bunch. Here, let's rewind that a little bit. So I got time on the clock. I'm not used to having rewind buttons, okay? We actually want to come from, like, way back here. Let's try this. Uh, my core audience sees this. Like, I mean the guys who watch every video, who always watch my streams, who are on my Discord channel. Like, that audience, they can see it, because like, they comment on it the most. Like, they can tell. If you're in a bad mood, you do a bad stream. It's just... And if you're playing a game that you don't like... Uh, so, that's one of the reasons that I just, a long time ago, decided for my channel, I'm never going to chase views with a game that... I'm never going to buy a game just because I think it's going to get views. I'm never going to make a series just because I think it's going to get views. And every game that I pick to play, I'm going to pick because I think it's a good fit for the channel. And when people pick my games for me, which happens... Uh, I have a Patreon pledge where you get to pick one of my Let's Play series for me. Uh, I'm very clear with the people. Like, first of all, you're not guaranteed to get good content. Like, I'm, even if this is one of your favorite games, you, I'm, like, I'm not guaranteed to gush over it. I might not enjoy it, and if I don't enjoy it, I'm going to be very clear about what I don't enjoy about it in the series. And I also say to people that I'm on. I don't have. An, I don't feel any obligation to complete the game. If I find the game just absolutely unplayable, if I absolutely hate it, and there's just no chance that I'm going to complete it. We have to blow this guy up. It has to be him, because if... He did all this work, and then we have to blow him up. Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry, man, but... It's just how it is. We will not get all the way through this wall, though. Wait a minute. If we don't get all the way through the... Really? We don't get all the way through the wall? If we don't get all the way through the wall, then I have to rethink this whole level. Wow. I can't get closer to the wall than that. Um... I think that's what that works. I think we're fine there. Alright, so let's go ahead and seal that up, but we should be done. Uh, typically, I tell people... I'll either finish the game or you'll get 20 videos. 20 videos is about five hours of content or so. Uh, and I think that is sufficient time to show that I played the game in good faith, that I really approached it with an open mind, that I really tried to engage with it and tried to see why, like, what was special about it. At the same time, preserving my sanity in case you pick something that's just... To date, it's never happened. To date, I've completed every game that somebody has selected from Patreon because the people who are willing to pay that amount of money on a Patreon pledge are my core supporters who know my style the best, who know what kind of games that I enjoy and click with. I've had a couple of really weird DOS games got picked if you want to go back and see some weird DOS games. Uh, one from earlier this year was Kid Mystic, and then from several years ago was Electro Man. And both of these are really weird, very obscure games that somebody clearly had a very strong resonance with. But I think that mainstream audiences would reject, but I did finish them. Uh, okay, what are we doing here? We've only got one builder, which means we've got to build from this section here. Because we're not climbing up here. We've got a basher, so we can bash through and build... We've got to save everybody. We've only got two climbers. So if anybody falls down and is a climber, they're going to hit their head on the bridge that I built. Uh, 
Uh, we can use a blocker and then free the blocker with a miner. And then the question is, how do we get the miner back up? If everybody else is built across, if everybody else walks across the bridge over here. Because any miner we set, we're going to lose down to this area of the level. And then even though we can make him climb up, there's going to be a bridge here. So let's just see what the difficulties are. Let's get 90% of the way there and then see if I can into it the last 10%. Uh, I mentioned some streamers don't seem to have this issue. Some streamers, they play the same game every single day of their life, or they constantly are playing whatever AAA game is popular right now, and some people can do that. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I gotta break this guy out going the other direction. Here's the problem. If I mine this, so many of these people are gonna... Get stuck, I think. Yep, they're all stuck now. So I gotta mine from the other direction, which means... I gotta let two guys pass before I set a blocker. And you bash. And he's only gonna turn around once, I think. No, that's too late. I gotta watch him closer. So that's fine there, and now we can have this one build. I wanna make sure he seals, that seals there. Now the blocker is freed. Is my bridge gonna be done in time? Looks like it is, but just barely. And then there's this guy. I just want to do that. Oh, two guys fell through. That's bad. You see what I'm doing now? I just need to make a hole right here at the very top. And I need only one guy to fall through, and then they can both climb up and out. So we're going to catch him at just the right time. I got two climbers though. I think that's good. I think we're fine. So you're a climber. And then once he comes around the other side, because I think we'll be able to climb right through that pixel right there. Should be okay. Whew. There have been a few times in my career when I wasn't playing a game specifically to chase views, but I did just so happen to want to play whatever the hot new game was at the time. I did this with Grand Theft Auto V. I really wanted to play Grand Theft Auto V. Looking forward to it. And I streamed it. And... Wow, it's very rare that I, had, I would get negative response like that on my channel. I cannot... I think the worst Twitch audience I've ever had was Grand Theft Auto V, clearly. That's not good. <laughs> we gotta save everybody. We can painstakingly make everybody a floater. I got four builders. How are we getting the peoples out of here? We got a digger, we got a basher, and that's it. We're probably going to have to bash through here, which means there's going to be a bridge waiting here. We've only got one climber. I wonder if we dig down here and build up here if that builder will turn around. Because if he does, he can build this and then build that. 
But I think the first thing we have to do is actually sit here and click 50 times. This is not very enthralling gameplay, but I think we have to do this. We don't have enough builders to save these jabronis is the problem. Yeah, I have never had a Twitch chat that was as horrible or as toxic as the few days I played Grand Theft Auto V. It was almost unbelievable. It was like getting a taste of, this is what some streamers just put up with every day of their career. Just every day is this in their channel. It's just, and I can't imagine having to put up with that kind of toxicity every single day. It was, it was terrible. And I really regret streaming that game, and it's given me a lot of pause in streaming any kind of major AAA game like that again. I really need you to turn around. So we're going to have to build twice. One, two, three, four. I think this will clear in one builder, so he's going to have to build twice. They should call this level We All Fall Down. Oh, he might turn around. Yeah, he's fine. And then we'll build from here. That seals up nicely. Glad you get plenty of time for this level. There's no time crunch. Beautiful. I mean, there's a time crunch on a micro level. Like right there. Catching that floater, but then getting back in time to set my man to building. Yeah, he's fine. Uh, we just need to bash on through. Set our last floaters. Let's pop the release right here. Make sure we catch everybody. Anywhere you see a blue pixel, you want to click. That should be the last one. Got everybody. Beautiful. Well done. Everybody's green! Oh, it's nice. It's very nice that everybody's green today. I used to, back in the day, I was like, alright, I want to build a Twitch channel, which turned out to be very, very difficult. Uh, just in general. And I'm strongly considering not streaming on Twitch anymore. I haven't really decided what I want to do when I go back to streaming. Maybe you guys have some ideas, but... Yeah, I don't like the looks of this. We got plenty of... Is this a hero level? This is a hero level. I think we're fine. We just build and bash and build and bash and build and bash. This looks like the trickiest part. I might dig and build down from... from like back here, maybe? And I can just bash you all this, it looks like. Yeah, this is a hero level. Uh, but I did go through a period where I wanted, like, anytime I was playing a game, I wanted to stream it. Like, I didn't want to play a video game without streaming it. Even when I was doing, like, YouTube test plays. Like, you know, I might as well stream these. I might as, I might as well. I've only got 15 builders. We're going to have to use two here. There's nothing for it. And Grand Theft Auto V was during that time. But even games that you love, when you get to a point on Twitch, we're like, alright, if you want to make partner, if you want to actually build a daily consistent follow, you have to play the same game every single day, and you can never deviate from it. And I've watched streamers do this in order to make partner, it's what you have to do. And I've watched them begin to hate the game that they play. And what happens in a lot of times, I say a lot, this has happened to maybe half a dozen or so streamers that I've seen over the years. It's happened enough that I believe it's actually common. It might just be a couple of people weren't able to hack it and they just happened to be the couple of people I watched. Uh, but like, I've, I've watched one Binding of Isaac streamer stream. I mean, part of why I watched him is he streamed Isaac every day. Every single I wanted to watch some Isaac and he was always on, but I could tell he was really starting to hate the game. And then once he made partner and once he actually, ooh, what is that? 
bash? That looks very strange. Is he going to move down as he bashes through there? Let's find out. Let's find out what do. Oh, the black pixels inside of the object count as background pixels for this scenery. Okay. No, that's actually fine, though. Uh, but yeah, I watched this guy just hate the binding of this game that he loved that made him want to stream as a job full-time. I watched him hate it as he was aiming for partner, just playing it every night. He was obviously sick of it. He had to log on and put in his six hours every day, whether he wanted to or not. And once he finally made partner, he stopped playing Isaac. And I stopped watching his channel because he was no longer doing Isaac content. And I realized, like, I'm a part of this problem. But at the same time, like, I don't want to tune into a person who's playing a game I don't want to watch. So when he started playing a bunch of other games and becoming a variety streamer, I stopped tuning in. And that's what made me realize at that time... Like, that myself, trying to be a variety streamer, I've only got two more bashers, I've got to go all the way up over this. And hope that I can bash through all of that at once. We're going to be falling down into this totem pole here, I think. I think once we get on top of the totem pole, I can release the horde back here, and we'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, that's when I realized that as a variety streamer, like, I'm not going to make it on Twitch. It's always just going to be a side thing to my YouTube content, and because I can't not be a variety streamer. I, I don't have it in me to play a game to the point where I hate it. I don't have it in me to play this even a game that I love over and over every day. He will get all the way through this, it looks like. I'm thinking this tree, I might let him get up to here and then mine down and bash through to make absolutely sure that he gets through these tree roots. That was the smart play. I think that was absolutely the smart play. So my point is that I'm always going to play the games that I want to play, which for me always means games from my childhood that I loved and new like indie games especially that I discover the rare triple-a game that I do play I may or may not find ways to bring those to YouTube I am thinking of ways to actually finally do a Minecraft series uh, in the near-ish future we might actually get to see some Minecraft that would have to be a Saturday series that would have to be once all the lemmings is done and there's so much more lemmings you guys have no idea oh this level's a big pain in the butt do they just walk up this? They don't. Okay. Here's the thing. Once we get through this, they're going to walk up and get killed by walking off the top of the screen. Look at this mess we've got to get through over here. I think what we have to do... We have to destroy some of this, put a blocker way up top here. Get a build going. I don't have any downward. I got a bomber I can use. So yeah, we're going to have to bash through this. So we don't want to break all the way through the wall, though. But we're going to have to bash the very top of this material here. So we break out up here and fall to safety. So, I don't know what that's going to look like. We do have one floater. We're going to have to... Our basher is going to come out over here. He's going to get turned around on this. And we'll have him build upwards to catch the rest of the horde. And then when he turns around, he's going to bash through. So, that's one, two, three bashers. And then I think we'll walk up and over all of this. I think this is just... This, this grid pattern here is just for showsies. Seal up, please. Uh, that's very interesting. That's actually exactly what I wanted. That is exactly what I wanted to happen. Like, 100%. So, a block right there. Do 
you to build. We can go ahead and release the horde now. We're not going to be in danger of losing anybody. We need that little seal. You can bash through. And you, sir, I need you to blow up. Boom. Perfect. Okay. So we need to build so we match up to here. So eyeballing it something like that. And same deal. We're going to use another bomber to make sure this drop height doesn't become too much. We can do that right here, actually. I need that builder to not get screwed up first, though. Let's apply the builder first. There we go. Alright, I think I might have eyeballed this correctly. We'll have to see. <laughs> some streamers, some let's players feed off of negativity. I'm sure we all we've all we can all name examples of people who who like seem to just take great joy in hating their fan base and who in turn now this is way too early he's gonna go all the way off the top of the screen we need to come from a little lower yeah that didn't work um can you blow up please yeah come from like here perhaps that is one way to make money doing this you can just cultivate like hate and bitterness in spite like that is absolutely one way to do it I personally find that very distasteful and I wouldn't be able to keep it up anyway for me it's all about love I want to play games that I love one skill that I have now that I never used to have is I can like I'm much more receptive to criticism I don't find myself needing to, uh, <laughs> I hesitate to tell the story about this, but I don't find myself needing to, like, rise to match or address the hate that I do get. I just let it roll off my back. I don't think we're high enough now, actually. Uh, we may be. Actually, I think as long as we break through anywhere along this route, we'll be fine. No, actually, I think we're going to seal up just fine. I think this is perfect. We just need to make sure that he doesn't turn around. If he turns around, all is lost. What happens here? He's going to shrug. That looks like a seal to me. That looks like a seal to me. Mm. Gotta be a floater, my friend. I think this looks fine. We're gonna come out here-ish, and he'll float down. He'll turn, he'll build up to here and catch everybody, and then bash through at the end. I had a encounter with a viewer who's no longer a viewer. He made it very clear that he was unsubscribing, unsupporting, etc. Uh, this was a couple years ago now. I, <laughs> I'm i not going to name any names, and I'm going to change some details of this story. So it's going to be very difficult if you want to go back and pinpoint. Because I don't want anybody hunting this individual down and dredging up this drama. But I was very sick one day like and I, I said made some comments on twitter that i stand by but now i understand what twitter was probably not the best place for them and it was too much for this individual and they said some nasty things on twitter and they sent me some dms on twitter he's fine this is fine he's gonna turn around and we're going to build up to catch everybody else who comes out. And he's going to hit his head here and turn back around a second time. And everything is going to be fine. Everything is fine. Uh, and when these guys are ready, 
we just build over the gap and everybody comes home. We got so much time in this level, it's great. Uh, this individual made it very clear, like, this is the last straw, I'm unsubbing, you're the worst person on YouTube, nobody should watch you. And I almost engaged this person because I thought, you know, I, <laughs> this is obviously ridiculous and I know all of my core supporters are going to see how ridiculous this is and I could have some fun with this. I think we're good to do this now. And if I did this right, the real proof in the pudding is going to be if we get stuck in here and are going to have to use 18 bombers to get through. But no, we just walk right up and over these little diggits here. I'm calling these diggits and I don't know why. Okay, we're good. We got five minutes. Everybody's coming up through. Hot times. You can blow up now. I, I was. I was raring to get into this just big Twitter fight with a person. Ooh, what's this in here? That's a trap? Oh, it's an electrode trap. If we had built up here and let him walk up and over... Should we do that to Mr. Schnoz? Should we see... I didn't even notice that trap there. Let's do it. Let's... let's... Well, it won't be Mr. Schnoz, because Mr. Schnoz is always in the back. And whoever we use to build this ladder is going to, by definition, not be in the back. Mr. Schnoz is fine, guys. Don't worry about it. But I want to see this. I want this to happen to... To mean Twitter commenter here. Uh, but I was. I was ready to get, engage in this. I was like, you know what? I'm going to... Oh, that was really satisfying. I'm glad we did that. I was ready to get into this internet slap fight with this guy. Like, you know what? I've lost this subscriber already. He's being really, really mean. I have some choice things to say to him. All or nothing. This level is... A coin flip? They all drop into this little one pixel wide gap, and you've got to bash them into this gap, and then into this gap. In the original Lemmings, remember, it was a 50-50 shot which way the basher was facing. Now we can make sure we select a basher facing the way we want to look. So this level is pretty trivial. Any version of Lemmings that has this directional selection option, <laughs> this level is trivial. That's it. That's all there is. And I was about to do that, and the only thing that stopped me is I had... I was sick. There was no moment of clarity. There was no rationality in my decision-making. Have a nice day! I gotta save ten. Well, clearly this happens first. Where are we going? We're just going over there. Uh, so we can get a guy down here. Build up. We do have a climber. I don't think this will be too much trouble. I think we're fine. Are we going to come down in here? We do have a digger to come down. We have one digger, one basher. Oh, but then I got to get up this area here. I have a miner. We're going to have to use one digging tool to get through this bridge when we're done to release the horde. I think we're going to put a blocker over here and build up this direction is what we're going to want to do. We're going to have to release the horde first, though. Like, I think this guy is just dead. That's okay. This guy can be a climber floater. Ooh. No, I want a blocker here. If I build over, we'll get everybody capped. Well, I can build them out later. It might be very difficult to build them out later. You know what? No, we're just going to use the blocker, and that'll be fine. So you're going to have to... Uh, I kind of want to do that a little further back, I think. The only thing that stopped me from getting into this internet slap fight is I was like, I don't want to just, I don't want to just argue with this person who's unsubscribed and they're gone forever. Like, I want to do some damage. So I'm like, let's find out 
more about this person and I dug it into it wasn't difficult like the Twitter profile linked to a page and the page had some questionable does that seal I think that seals we're fine some uh, questionable content on it um, we need another guy coming up over here and part of me was like oh this is gonna be so easy I can't wait and another part of like another part of me was like but if I am I really accomplishing anything if all I do is just attack this person like am I just sticking to his level and in the end I decided to not engage on Twitter and that was a little bit it was difficult because my first instinct is like go for the jugular when people are just ridiculous attacks or flying like that's my first instinct I think we started building too far back I want to build a little further forward than that even let's say the second rivet here maybe you there are you gonna oh he wasted a... I placed the basher not a blocker that was my fault that was my fault that was not the lemmings fault at all yeah this second rivet here Ooh, that's not gonna work either though no uh this has to be perfect if this is even if i can even do this maybe in between these two rivets like right here i might be able to finagle this into working i might be able to force this to work We'll see. Oh, that step forward probably didn't help. Ah, uh, we might be okay, though. Oh, that's a seal. We're good. So I can... Let's see, so now he's a build-up from the this area here going right. He's gonna climb. This is fine. I'm okay with this. I think we'll walk up and over that. I think. We'll find out. Yeah, he walks up and over that. So all we gotta do is build here, and then we're done. We can release the horde as soon as this build starts going. And we're gonna do that by taking somebody facing right and mining. Perfect. We'll have to nuke in the end. And by not indulging in this self-serving internet slap fight, by not engaging with this toxic person and just letting it go, like, I feel like I avoided a lot of painful drama. Because the only thing that could have happened, the there, there's actually two outcomes. If I were, if I had engaged in that style of behavior, the first is that my most hardcore fans, the Steel Mines of Kessel. There's a lot of traps in this level, I think. Let's actually do a trap sweep here. Yeah, there's one. Oh, it's not hidden though. We just got to build over that. Blockers and bombers, huh? Well, we're not going to need bombers at all. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I kind of hate this level, but yeah, the first thing is like my most ardent supporters would have attacked the guy. It would have been impossible to avoid that because I think what direction are we trying to go here? I wonder. Are we gonna get all the way through this wall? I don't think so, actually. Yeah, not even close. We're going to have to come down here. And if somebody's going to blow up right here, they will not blow up the steel, so it should create a seal against this steel from which everybody else will be safe. That should do it. Everybody's going to drown. Dum 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 dum. Uh, I would never be able. I would have never forgiven myself if I had. The term is weaponizing your fan base. 
and I would have hated myself forever if it had become apparent that I had done that in any capacity. I would have lost sleep over it. I would have never, ever been able to forgive myself. I, having that kind of hate on... Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Wow. This little root right here is doing some work. Uh, now you, sir, need to blow up. So they're going to get caught there. And then we need to blow up here. All right. Now I need to build up to here and then up to here. And bomb through this. And build over this. And we should be fine. We've got four more bombers. We're not getting through this. So. Oh, and we're, something we're going to want to block so we can have somebody build over the trap. Let me state that unequivocally, because I know the only people watching Lemmings are my most ardent fans. <laughs> if ever you think, in one of my videos or any of my online dealings, you think that I've given the impression that I want to weaponize my fan base, that I want people to go out and harass or bother or file copyright claims or dox people, like any of the horrible things you can do to another person on the internet, if at any point you think that I have asked you as a fan or a viewer to do that, please note that you have grossly misunderstood my intentions and that you should not, under any circumstances, behave that way. In my name or not. Ever. Ever. <laughs> wow, I can't state that clearly enough. So if that had happened, and I think it would have happened if I had engaged with this person, uh... I think he would have got a lot of Twitter harassment from people who uh, agreed with the thing that I had posted or who were just my fans and would want to defend me. And I would have felt bad about that forever because the stuff that I found on his other social media was so bad and just so easy to mock that <laughs> people would have had a field day with it. It was that bad. Okay, we do need one blocker. We're going to say... You. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. We can go ahead and pop the release rate. My man can build up over this trap. Does that get all the way over the trap? That does. I think we're good to go now. I think that's it. We'll just walk to the end from there. So I can safely pop you. Boom. Yeah, we're good. Excellent. Uh, and the other thing that would have happened is I would have just... Like, I wouldn't have gained anything. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't have won the fight. I wouldn't have won a subscriber back. All I could have possibly accomplished other than weaponizing my fan base would have been to engage in behavior for the sole purpose of making somebody else feel bad. And that's already what had happened to me, and I didn't like it. So that circle of, oh, this person is being a bully, so I should bully them back. Dude, I'm in my 30s. I ain't got time for that kind of stuff anymore. And that's what I realized. Like, I came that close in that one instance of becoming everything that I hate about the most negative streamers and Let's Players around. I, I learned a very valuable... First of all, I learned not to show my ass on Twitter. Like, don't go on Twitter and make controversial state. Even if they're controversial statements, I really believe Twitter's not the place for them. I don't... I don't think Twitter's the place for politics. I don't think Twitter's the place for religion. I don't think Twitter's the place for controversy because by definition, you cannot have a nuanced, complex discussion about any topic in the Twitter format. It's not possible. You have to reduce everything to a soundbite. Oh, no. This level again. Except we don't... Oh, we have five bashers. I don't have a spot down here now, though. This... Okay, so it's a little bit changed. I gotta save everybody so these exploders don't work. How am I going to get everybody through? We start bashing in, the second guy digs a little bit and then starts bashing.
Is that gonna help at all? I've also got a climber. I can send somebody. I can send him up and then down to bash through while leaving a turnaround wall. But a turnaround wall just sends my dudes into this fire trap, so. I don't have a builder either to get anybody up and out. Ha! No blockers. Turning the lemmings around, I don't think is gonna be. It's gotta be possible. There's gotta be a way. gonna be kind of the same thing as we did before, I think. Like, he's gonna have to dig. Let's so make a turnaround tunnel. And... If he starts bashing, we're all gonna get... Yeah, we're all gonna have the same problem we did last time we played this level. Yeah, we're gonna turn around in too many clumps. And nobody's gonna get through. And it's just bad news bears all around. Alright, I've already forgotten how I did this level the last time. We had a little patch the last time, I thought, that we could put the lemmings into and then bash them out later. Yeah, this would work if I had infinite time, but I do not. We're gonna run out of time. I don't want to end a couple of lemmings, like, two lemmings videos in a row on the same exact level. It's not the same exact level. We have different jobs, and it's gonna be a different solution involved. But we, get, we need to get them all clumped up. How, though? How is the question? I can't blow anybody up. We do have to save everybody. A climber? How does this... The climber doesn't help me. I can, like, climb and dig down. But by that time, Lemmings ought to be bouncing off the wall. I feel like the first guy does have to bash. Just to get everybody clumped up. Okay. Okay. It's why it's a puzzle game, Bricker. It's why it's a puzzle game. Ooh, not bomb. We do want you to bash. It takes you almost a full minute to bash through this wall. Once I make somebody a digger, the only way I can stop them from digging is by bashing. Which... Let's make you a climber. Make you a basher. Let's have him start digging down into the bashing tunnel. I don't understand how this is going to help me, though. Yeah, because now this guy's... If he turns around... He's going to be done digging, but then he just falls down into the tunnel anyway. Like, to what end is he doing this? If he starts digging... But I can't... I, I gotta stop him digging, like, right now, or else he's too low and the bash won't end properly. Yeah, that climber doesn't help me at all. He just climbs up and out. He's gonna burn to his death now. Yeah, he deserves that. Alright. Let's see now. I can climb up and dig down here, and then the basher doesn't have as long to go, but that's only one lemming he's with. Like, that doesn't even seem worth it to me. <sighs> I 
how did we do this the first time? We made like a square, yeah? Like this guy digs for a minute. should trap them all in a little square, right? No, it doesn't. Maybe I had a builder last time and I was able to dig them into a little pit and then build, and that's not going to happen this time. Alright, why do I have five bashers and five diggers? You can never tell that I've solved this level in the past many times, because I always get stuck on some of these levels. So the issue is the same as last time. If I have a build tunnel, anybody who turns around is not going to make it on time. We've got to get everybody kind of clumped together. We have to do this with some combination of bashers and diggers, because really all we have. We cannot use the bomber. The climber doesn't seem to help at all. I can send a climber up and over, and then... That's not, even, that's not even death height there. Like, this floater that I have doesn't do anything worthwhile. If I put any... If I get them clumped together in a dig pit, that doesn't help at all. Because the digger has to be turned into a basher, and then I've got the same problem just a few pixels down. And if I do the main bash tunnel above here, or below here, I don't have a way to get the lemmings into it later anyway. I feel like it has to start with a basher, and then has to dig almost immediately. That guy got up and out, that's not good. Can I do this on the first lemming? I could not have dug earlier than that. That's as early as I could po possibly dug. And I gotta save everybody, because I could do this with a bomber easily. So yeah, you've got to turn into a digger to save yourself and make a little turnaround tunnel for everybody else. Everybody does get saved. I need you to dig. You know what? No, he needs to dig first, I think. I think I, I'm getting to formulate a plan. Maybe. Maybe I'm going to formulate a plan. No, now I've got the same problem. Just a few pixels on. Dang it! Okay. If I could delay this guy here, can I use a climber to delay him at all? I can't. It would have to be the first guy who's a climber. That just pushes the problem back a lemming in the cycle. The earliest he could dig is right there. He can't dig earlier than that, because then he breaks the wall. Have him bash through. I'm gonna have the same problem though. 
I'm just finding different ways to draw this little rectangle, I think. Maybe I just timed that incorrectly. Yeah, I don't have a way to stop him from... Actually... No, now he just turns into a climber, but he, he wants to finish bashing is the issue. Alright, so that didn't work. What else do I have in my repertoire? Because if this would work here, then this first one would just work anyway, so... Very much not. I think I know what I need the climber for, though. Well, maybe not. Because if I do get them all in a little dig pit... Well, I can't get them all in a little dig pit, though. It's not possible. The digger is going to go all the way down to the bottom of the level. Like, I can demonstrate that. Like, they will get stuck in this dig pit. That will happen. But the dig pit's just going to get lower and lower and lower as we go. Also, we need to pop the release rate early in this level. What other options do I have? I cannot use any bombers here. It's going to have to start with a basher. I don't see any way around it. Even starting with a digger here. Like, that's as low as I can dig, and this is not enough space to turn them around. See? There's a walk up and over that. So I can't even... Like, starting with a digger doesn't seem to be helpful at all. The basher is the way to be. What do we do with this second lemming, though? We don't want him to bounce off the wall and walk into the fire. We probably... I can't make him bash. He won't bash the same wall he is, so he's got to be a digger. Digger's the only other option. He can't climb up and over this because there's nowhere to climb anymore because we've bashed the wall partially. And he reaches this area pretty close. So my two options here is make him a digger or make him a digger. I make him a digger. Actually, that might work. That might be okay. And there's still the question of what to do with this digger now, though. Do I just make him a... If I make him a basher, I've got the same problem again. That they're going to get too spread out. I can pop the release rate, but that's not going to help me at all. I got 45 more lemmings to come out. If all 45 lemmings were already out at this moment, I think we could be... We could do this, but that's not the case. Let's see how many terrible clumps we get. Yeah, we're going to get pretty insane clumping. Not even close. It's not going to happen for us. I mean, it's fun to just sit here and watch them fail, I suppose. <laughs> like, we're not even going to cut it close. It's not even... <laughs> Fine, I'm nuking you. Let's get the, the, the five counter here. See? I got the nuke out before... Ugh, okay. Alright, I'm, I'm really sure this first one's got to be a basher. I don't see any way around it, honestly.
I don't see any way to not make this guy a basher. So let's do that. And then after that, it's only a few seconds. Like, I gotta do something right. I gotta do something at this point. We gotta do something at this point. So... <sighs> the only other thought I can think of is if we kind of bash and dig in a zigzag pattern. No, you know what? I need to think about this another way. I'm gonna make the assumption that my assumption is wrong. I'm gonna think... Yeah, like we want you to dig now. My main assumption that we have to start with a basher must be wrong because I'm, it's not getting me anywhere. Let's try this. I think he's just gonna dig into this guy's bash tunnel. Let's pop the release rate up. Yeah. This is just a mess. <laughs> you see what I was going for? Like this climber tunnel now, I can get him turned around in here. When he bashes out, everybody will be stuck from there. So some variant of this. Assuming I need to start with the basher was not a good assumption. Let's go by pixel by pixel here, frame by frame. It's the earliest. This is probably the earliest I can dig. How much do I lose this guy by? If it's only a matter of pixels. He's out. Okay, so let's try this. We're gonna have him bash. I want him to dig on the first possible frame. That's why we're going frame by frame here. Too early. Right there. Let's see if we can delay him by bashing once. And if not, we can delay him by bashing twice. No. Didn't work. All right, we'll do this one more time. Bash. Dig. I, I don't know if bashing actually delays him or not, is the problem. No, he's still up and out of there. Do we try? I don't. I don't know if it's delaying him at all. I mean, we can try having him bash three times. And then we might as well pop the release right there. I don't think that's going to work. The thing is, I need to assign him a basher, and I'm going to have to assign him to be a basher eventually to get the effect that I want. But... 
See, I can delay him with three bashers, but that doesn't help me at all. I'm gonna stick with this climber method for now. This has to be absolutely perfect. That's digging too early, right? Sure is. Trying to find the exact frame where he moves over one pixel. Right there, that's that's it. That's the earliest we can go. Bash. Bash. If this doesn't work, then this strategy is not gonna happen. We got him. We got him with two bashers. Okay, so now make him a basher. And make him a digger. I'm gonna say here. Now we've got to I'm pop a release rate. Let's isolate my dig my basher here. Have him go down a little bit. That's good. And finish the bash there. I don't understand what this was supposed to accomplish. Why did I think it was... Because the zigzag is what I need to do. We need to zig and zag in a particular way. So that when we set the last basher, he's far enough along... Oh, maybe I thought this climber was going to create the third zig. He was going to fall down, they were going to be able to... Because mm -hmm. you see, he is a little bit lower coming out of there. What is the point? Sometimes they give you jobs not so you can use them, but just to kind of trip you up. And I think that's what's happened here. So... Maybe we have a climber so we can... The idea isn't we don't want to zigzag. The idea is by the time the first basher reaches, the rest of the bash has already happened. This part here has to be so precise, though, for that to work. And we might as well pop the release rate on that frame there, because we've delayed him as much as possible. Okay, so he's done now. We'll start the bash. And he's a little more than halfway. Let's see what this looks like. Alright, where's my basher? Let's find him. I want to make another trap for everybody. Okay. But I want you to... I just... I don't need more bashers. That's it. I wanted to make another turnaround tunnel so they would come into my climber's tunnel, but this climber just doesn't move fast enough for this to work. far as I can tell. God, I feel like I'm so close to this solution. Because if they could all, they, they all bounce off this wall to the right, and if that happened just as this climber tunnel... But he's still got so far to bash, too, though. Let's have him dig later, actually, then. So he gets way further along. Like, the edge of this corner here, we'll try. And then we'll try this a little earlier. Make the second turnaround wall. We'll try this. I 
I don't have another basher though. Ah, dang it. That's not gonna work. I do. I need two bashers. Oh, yeah, because we use two bashers to stall the man. Well, then how are we gonna stall the man then? Let's use... I can't do this with only one basher, I don't think. If we... Cause we, we literally found the first frame. I feel like there's gotta be something fundamentally wrong with this strategy. Yes, from this point we need three bashers. Him... One more time, and then him once. Well... This doesn't turn him around, does it? It doesn't. Five bashers. One to start. Two, three to turn around. Four on the second tunnel here, and then five. So yeah, I can use two bashers to stall, I think. I thought that's what I did last time when I ran out. Where, where am I using my fifth basher at? Somebody leave me a nasty comment so I can know for sure. One. Okay. Oh, he, this is using two bashers for him. Right, so he's bashing, then immediately digging. That's where my fifth basher is going. Okay. Oh, I feel like this strategy is fine, except for just this second or third lemming coming out of here. Getting him turned around properly. Let's try it with just the one basher. Pop the release rate. He's out of there. That's, I can't cut it any closer than that. I can't. I found the exact first frame to start digging, and I can't delay him with more than one basher. <sighs> okay. Instead of using a basher to delay him, let's get the dig going, because we're going to use one basher on this guy anyway. We'll start that. further do I want to go? I think that should be fine. We're going to try digging in the same spot. Pop the release rate. When we get to about the halfway, we will do another turnaround down here. Okay, there's my basher right there. That's not good there, though. I'm way too low now. I'm way too low. I think if this bash wasn't low, wasn't that low, we would have had it. Because he would have bashed right into the climber's tunnel. Try that. Are we still good? Oh no, that's still not good though. It's better than it was. No, they're walking up and out of there, so that wasn't low enough. So this was too low. This first dig was too low then. Alright, we're, we're nickel and diming this. We're getting there, kids. So that. Uh, this first guy is going to walk up and out, but that's fine. We can make him a basher to save him. We might as well pop the release rate there. That should be plenty. So, and now he's going to bash. I like my climber positioning. I think that was fine. He was right about there. And then, once he gets to this halfway point, we're going to make him do one more Terrace. To get everybody turned around at the midway point instead of at the beginning of the level. Does that make sense? So, like, from here. Where's my basher? There he is. 
That's his. No, we can go down one more pixel. Like that. He's gonna bash into this guy's tunnel. I think we got it. This looks good. This looks really good. I like I like how this looks. We got it. Oh. I can exhale. Get in there, Mr. Schnoz. Whew. We've only got three more levels in Mayhem. Oh, this level here, though. This is a good one to open up the next video on, I think. This this Wacky Shack single loving level. Guys, thanks for watching. I have a Twitch highlight of this level, actually. If you want to go look for it, it's back there in the archives somewhere. Good luck!